All right, so I'm gonna show you what I've got going on for my uh, Y axis now. I've just uh, found where I need to place this micro switch or limit switch and you can kind of see a little dent there and dent there. These are my punch marks from this carbide scribe and uh, I just got this where I needed it and uh, took my little hammer and hit uh, right on the back of this scribe to give me a start. And this, I'm just basically trying to get through the paint so I can definitely identify it. And then I take my um, normal punch that I use for center punching things and I take my hammer and I give it a much more stern strike. And uh, this is to help guide the bit. And this is actually at a slight angle. It's a couple degrees. And I'm going to need to drill this relatively straight. So I'm going to hold my punch straight on there. I'm not going to follow the contour. And give it one good hit. Okay. Now this is cast uh, material, cast iron. And... Uh, it's pretty soft, so uh, it doesn't really take that much of a hit. All right, so you can probably see those two marks now a little better than before. Now I'm going to show you how I've been drilling and tapping these. Let's take my bit here, or drill, whatever you want to call it, and tighten it up. I'm going to put a little bit of, of this heavy lubricant on here. You can use whatever you want. This is what I'm using. It's nice and thick. See, it's pretty much just stays in one spot. Okay, so I'm going to drill through here real quick. I suppose this is a horrible angle for you guys to see. I'm going to see if I can hold this camera while I do this to help you out. Maybe just raise it up. Alright, for the filming I'm just using a little GoPro camera. Seems to work pretty, pretty good. The video quality is all right. And trying to give you guys light as well. And I'm not going in terribly deep, you know, I'm go going in about, oh, a half inch or so. I'm not terribly concerned about you know, being super straight on this. It's important, but uh, considering the application, there's a pretty loose tolerance. So I could take this thing apart and put it on my other milling machine and do it that way, but this is more realistic for how you guys are probably going to be doing it at your home.
I made it all the way through on that one. Might as well do the same thing here. It might be slightly thicker, who knows. Okay, all the way through. That's nice because when I go to tap it here in a second, um, I will not have to use a bottoming tap. And if you don't know what that is, I will show you. Okay, so this is an example of a bottoming tap. Um, the threads don't have such a taper on there, and they're designed for going all the way down to the bottom of a hole that you drill. And the other taps, the starting tap right here, you'll see has a very gradual start to it. This is what you want to use to get your your tapping and thread started. And as long as this has enough thread for you, you can use this all the way through on an application like we've got going on here, where we're going all the way through, because this isn't going to bottom out. But if this was just a hole and uh, it actually went and stopped inside there and there's a wall, our threads aren't going to be very long if we use this uh, because you're only going to have complete threads for maybe like 3 sixteenths of an inch if we use this starting one. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and chuck up this starting tap. And I'm definitely going to put some lube on this thing. Nothing wrong with being a little generous here. And hopefully the camera's capturing this okay. Okay, now what I've got going on in my drill, generally I'd recommend doing this by hand. I do this quite a bit at work, and uh, I just set the clutch to one. So if it binds, it will slip. And if you're holding it straight, you shouldn't have your tap crack. They are pretty brittle. Well, that was easy. So I'm gonna switch over to that bottoming tap really quick. Now that I've got them started, I wanna make sure that I've got threads all the way through. So I'm just gonna get this thing chucked up. Get that going. If you are using power drill, just be prepared to have a light trigger. You don't wanna break these things off and it's really easy to do. And then unless you've done um, you know, 50 or 100 holes in your life, tap them. I wouldn't even recommend grabbing a power tool to accomplish this. Well, I'm definitely satisfied with that worked like a charm so now we've got our two holes and we're gonna see if I'm crazy or if this method really works here in just a second